Let's talk about this. So, uh, Chin Shiryu. Chin Suyi. Suyi or Suyu. No, Suyi. Why do people say Suyu if it's Suyi? Anyway, Chin Suyi, who in my opinion is the most important person at Thick Boy. In my opinion. Most important person at Thick Boy. And I feel like he should be paid way more. But I'm also not liking this cultural appropriation that he put together as of his fucking headshot or his profile picture on YouTube with the braids and the gold chains and the tattoos on his neck. Like, come on, what are you doing? You're trying to, what are you trying to do? You're trying to steal black valor. Like, that's not on, mate, okay? I want you to get paid more money, Chin Tzu Yi. I think you should be paid way more than you're getting paid. I think Brenda should be paying your medical bills for fucking breaking your neck, essentially, which he hasn't done. Brenda likes to do all these acts of charity to everybody else, save kids allegedly from a burning car, but he's not willing to fucking, you know, pay for your stem cell surgery to fix your neck because he broke it. He should be paying you more money. Hey, Thanks big up. Thanks for the entertainment. Thank you, Susanna, for the ten dollars. I appreciate you. Big up, big up, big up. Much, much appreciate you, Susanna. Um, but yeah, Chin to you. You should be getting one hundred thousand pounds plus per year. If you're not on that, you should be getting more. You should have equity. You should have equity. You should have equity. You should have equity. But you shouldn't be rolling around here stealing valor from black guys. I don't like this, you know, Asian David Beckham look going on here, my friend. This is really, really bad. You're stealing valor from the from the from the flipping from the Latinos with that mustache, right? You're stealing valor from the Latinos with that Andale Andale Arriba mustache. You're stealing valor from us with that what's up dog, what's up homie haircut. And you're also stealing valor from us from the Big Daddy Kane chain. I don't like it, okay? I don't like it. But I still think you deserve more money. <laughs> but anyway, Chin Su Yi put together a little blog, a little BTS video thing that we're going to watch. Um, looking at the setup before the epic Jake Paul, Tommy Fury thing um, that we're going to watch, right? I actually want to watch this, actually. I want to see his apartment tour. Um, but we're going to watch this one first. So we're going to see uh, what it was like when they set up that fucking epic um, live stream where Brendan got trolled and got confronted by Harry Mandel about his sink pissing, you know, um, fucking, what's the thing called? Sink pissing addiction. So let's see what Chin Su Yi is about. Hopefully, he's not doing any of that fucking R&B crying voice again. Oh, I want to see you. Hopefully, none of that has happening. Hopefully, it's just going to be him just talking through the mic. But let's see what Chin's vlog is like. And let's see what what's the lifestyle like for um producer and the real, i say he's a real creative director of fucking Thick Boy, isn't it? I think, too, to be honest. Um, was it like actually being part of Brendan Schaub's inner circle? Let's see. Get on. There we go. All oh, right, I like that. The little Casey nice that little start of the thing. Everything here was filmed on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Come on, Chin. You work for Brendan. You live in LA. How do you own the iPhone 13? That's what I'm saying. He's a pay rise. He's a fucking company phone. The latest phone possible to shoot stuff. You should write that off as a fucking expense or something. You should have the latest of anything. Whatever the phone is. If it's an iPhone, if it's a fucking Google, you should have the latest. You shouldn't be using a fucking iPhone 13. Or you should have an actual vlogging camera with a massive lens and shit. The ones that Casey Neistat walks around with. And a fucking, um, what's your thing called? One of those uh, things that you hold them to make it steady and shit. Or like a GoPro. Come on, chin, man. First one in the office, probably. Last one out all the time. He's opening the office every day. Come on, chin. iPhone 13. Demand more from Brendan. He's out here dri he's driving Ferraris. You're having to fucking film a vlog on an iPhone 13. Come on, Chin. Come on. The quality is... Hello. Hello. Hey, Cage Marino. Who's that? All right, let's get this going. Okay, the quality... Uh, come on. You're done. Sorry, the quality is a bit mad on my side. Let me see if I can improve a little bit here. Where is it? Is it 36? Ooh, 36p. Woo! Let's go at least to... Let's try and see if I can pure can hack... 72p let's see that looks dope before casey would be here i'm still here but now casey's here who's casey run the cameras too yeah ah so so there is so there is a guy who does the switching of the of the cameras okay because i thought it was all chin because before it was all chin chin would be like fucking chin would be like chin would be like sitting like this right no, let's go. Ch -ch chin would be like this He'd be like done. He'd be like doing everything. Like the camera. He'd be like turning the camera, switching the things. He will switch it. Then he'd then he'd be, they ask him to Google, and he's fucking horrible at googling. He's probably worse than that fucking. Is it Navid guy at the fucking um, what's the place called? At the um, at your mom's house. I mean, he'd be everywhere. But now they've got one guy doing it. Come on, brother. Now I can film Casey as I'm filming the guys. 
Yeah. With my own private little what, blog. Is there a sink there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, shit. I, I just missed that. How can I miss that? Let's go back. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now Casey's. Where's the sink? Let's see. Before Casey would be. Oh, my God. Oh, that is awful. Oh, my God. That's awful. Oh, my God. That's so awful. That's the fucking sink. It's an actual. See, I said everything before. I said this. What? Why well, this is more gross? Because I knew. I knew, right? I knew. Because I don't know about you guys, but I've grew. I've grown up in poor areas and lived in fucking shitty places. And sometimes you can. I, I don't know. Sometimes I lived in one house <clears throat> where, for whatever reason, the sink of the bathroom was outside the bathroom. And don't ask me why. So it just had the bathroom with like a toilet and a shower, but the sink was outside. I don't know why. But in some of those kind of layouts of flats, if somebody's using the toilet and you really need to go, you can maybe just like, you know, emergency calls, you know, d dip your little winker inside of the sink and then piss. Because that's an emergency. You've only got one toilet and there's like seven people sharing a household or something, right? Maybe more if you're from other countries. So it's a bit crazy. But I knew with this one, this would be like a sink that you'd see in an office. Because imagine this is an office. Because I work in offices where they've been like in like a portal cabin where there's like a little kitchen area at the back, right? So it's similar to like if you work in a port cabin with a kitchen area in the back and instead of going and leaving the port cabin to go piss in the toilet, you just went to the back of the port cabin, whipped out your, your pinker and then pissed in the sink and then went back and sat back down again. Imagine the funk of the smell inside a port cabin. Crazy, 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 crazy. This guy is like gross beyond belief. That's an actual sink. And again, look, look at the shit. There's loads of fucking um, food container type shits around there's a microwave there might be so, like imagine imagine you were about to go on lunch but then you had to quickly do something on your computer you left your fucking tupperware here with your beans and your rice before you're gonna microwave it or some sort of some chicken you had so all that shit is around there maybe your utensils so as he's pissing all that all that splash is going all over the place on the edges on the shit that you left before you popped you left back to go do some work so uh, you know tissue oh my god what? this is gross It'd be, it'd be better if it was away, but it's actually next to all the food. The fridge is right there. Oh, my God. It must smell crazy in there. The only reason why it doesn't smell crazy, I think so, is because this is obviously like a corporate, no, sorry, a commercial building, right? Where where I'm assuming those are different units are written by different people. And it's also got its own cleaning crew, like a cleaning company comes in. And probably these nice ladies come in in the morning and really tear that place apart. I mean, like mopping, cleaning, everything. So you don't see it. But they must see some madness. They must see some craziness. The cleaners that come there, they must know, oh my God, we have to go T5K. Oh, thick boy. They must have to wear a face mask and, sh face mask and shit. Oh my God, that's the kitchen. It's legitimately right next to the studio. It's like there, like two, stu two stops, two walks away. Oh, this is awful. Here. I'm still here. But now Casey's here. And imagine, as well, that man drinks a lot of alcohol. You piss a lot on alcohol. Oh, God almighty. Oh, it's already annoying when you're pissing a lot with water, with, when you drink a lot of water, but sometimes it's usually clear. When you're drinking lots of alcohol, your, your, your urine is dark. It's usually smelly as hell, especially if you've got drugs involved also. It's like, oh, my God, I can't imagine how funky it must smell. So I can run the cameras, too. Yeah. Now I can film Casey as I'm filming the guys. Yeah. With my own private like little vlog. Yeah. Making like flirty faces. And also having that massive TV, but not having them have headphones to hear the, the thing is fucking ridiculous. As we always do. Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right. Heading into fighter and the kid. And I do use. Hold on, how far is it again? Let's see it quickly here. He walked into the fighter kid studio. Yes, yeah, literally around the corner. It's literally here. The, the, so the kitchen's way closer than the toilet, which obviously, because he's lazy, doesn't want to go anywhere. But also, this is insane how disgusting it must smell in there. Oh, my God. All right. Heading in the fighter and the kid. And I do use my same audio unit that I use for fighter and the kid for Fight Companion because I trust this unit very much. And it's very, very expensive. So that's why we don't have another one for Fight Companion. Ta-da! Oh. <laughs> Uh, they're doing great he better himself they can't afford two of the same units look I don't, I, look I'm not gonna laugh at this because it is what it is but I got a feeling they probably cut a lot of corners with the shit that they do even though they make a lot of money from it but really and truly if you really went to fucking spruce up the production of it 
like everything in general. I think the pod will be improved greatly. Again, this is me talking from my shitty w- webcam. If they had headphones or listen to the fight companion and shit, and even sorry, even the podcast find a the kid, they should listen to it with headphones. They took over a lot of each other, especially Brendan. He talks over people so much, and I always wondered like, why does he do that? Why does he copy some things from Joe Rogan ad nauseum, like I mean to the T, but the other things just ignores. Like Joe Rogan is so flipping um strict about headphones like he doesn't let anybody come on his podcast and not use headphones with rare exceptions you have to use headphones because you know with the interrupting and shit hearing the sound of your own voice um make sure you're not shouting into the mic blah 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 but for whatever reason brendan just kind of abandoned it but then he's the serial interrupter he interrupts fucking everybody he interrupts even himself so he probably needs headphones more than anybody but he doesn't do it and then they can't obviously skimp and scrape on the fucking audio shit so it's, like, it's an interesting dynamic they've got going on there because they can clearly afford everything that they've got, like like two times. But oh, let's just have this one and do this one, and that one, do that one. But that's why that's how you know the Showtime check. It really did pay for a lot when he lost out on the Showtime check. That did really maybe make they had to cut corners because that Showtime money must have been paying for a lot. And I think the Showtime also, if I'm not mistaken, that was a built-in deal. If I'm not mistaken, it also included their production a little bit, so they had somebody come in and do the show also audio-wise and clean it up and make it look some a particular type of type of way. Or sign up to take a type of way. All done. Everything's hooked up. Good to go. All the mic arms are good to go. And we did a couple I of like, tests. I, I like the table though. I like how they set up the. I like how they set up the mic and the tables. I, I, I like that. I'm not gonna lie. How they kind of like on the corners. I like that. And actually, the table looks a lot more bigger on the camera. So they do a good way of kind of making it look all kind of broad. I kind of like that vibe. But the kind of copying of the Joe Rogan fight companion set is a little bit cringe. But hey. All the mic arms are good to go. And we did a couple of tests. Bye, Georges. You're leaving? I'm leaving. Peace out, Jim. Hey, man. Oh, so these people are the ones that work at Fickboy, then. These are the Fickboy employees. Georges, the other guy with the screen switches. Who else? And thank you. Jeez. I love you. Love you, too. Peace out, boys. Bye, Kay Sarita. Bye, later, buddy. I'll see you on uh, either... Sunday? Yeah, we'll text. Okay. All right. Good work today, buddy. So he's a... So exactly. So Chin is like essentially the what are you saying? The, oh, how do you call it? He's like the project manager in a way. Is it project manager? What's that person called? He does loads of. Sh- he does some something. Chin, Chin, in my opinion, is underpaid. I'm gonna die on that hill. I don't care what he's on right now. He's underpaid because I don't think Brendan's doing all this shit. He's not going around saying hi, bye, I love you, did a good job, give people you know positive positive fucking reaffirmations and encouragement, acknowledging their work. I like what he did there. I like what he did there. Like, he does that. Like, he's actually running the place. And Brendan's kind of the talent. But he likes... Brendan likes a fucking superhero. That superhero shot someone said in the chat, right? Walking in like he's actually doing the shit. But Brendan isn't. Like, the day-to-day running of that place is probably Chin. Making sure that stuff is done. Um, and he probably gets paid the least as well. That's the... Yes, yeah, that's the word. Yeah, um, Kyla said, yeah, coordinate. Yeah, production coordinate. Exactly. He's a, that's a big role. That's an important role. Plus, you have to have, you have, to have um, experience of equipment. You have to have, you know, interpersonal skills and shit. Be able to what's that thing called? Be able to juggle those things at once. Like it's a lot. Like he really, really should be paid more. Thank you. I don't know. Chin. Look at this yeah, shit. I did like with Nick Davis and Golden Hour for the UFC. Oh my gosh. Chin, you gonna I'm go going home, home, dude. It'd be great for the vlog. I gotta go. No, I, I have to go. Early Sunday morning. All right, ladies and gents, today is the day. Fight companion. Jake Paul, Tommy Fury, heading over there right now. I'll see you there. Oh, they got the backdrop. <laughs> I just clocked. The backdrop from Gringo Pappy. They didn't want to let it go to, go to use, go to waste. So they've got it in the hallway. <laughs> That's not a trophy, man. You should have been there. You should have got the backdrop in the fucking hallway. <laughs> To remind everyone what they're working towards, right? To remind everyone what keeps the lights on. Gringo Pappy hate watches. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> boys! Yeah, my boys. I watch golf? Of course. Of course, buddy. I saw your swings. I saw the video. Watch Higo. Oh, Higo just had a beautiful. Is he Asian? No. Oh, Higo. Beautiful. Tall George is here. Let's go. 
Here's our spread for the Fight Companion. Got some cookies. Excuse me? <laughs> Yo. So that's a. Uh, oh. Okay. 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 Maybe, maybe I'm going a bit over the top here, right? But. Let's pause over. Here's our spread. In my opinion, in my opinion, right? All the work that goes into making thick boy productions happen and the shows and stuff with the with the cameras and the you know av and shit isn't that like not enough food for like four grown men or do they maybe take into account that how he maybe might not eat certain things because he's a germaphobe and shit like like oh that's just i don't does that look appetizing to you does that look like a lot of food that looks like what's that was that, that looks like that, that what was left over from like another thing they did that doesn't even look like a good amount like i don't know it's just like it's a weird Either, if it was me, either you like, you send people menus ahead of time and say, hey, order what you want from here. Or when they get there, you offer them some options. Like, hey, here's some orders. You can have some food. Because I think, what did they do on the JRE Fight Companion? On the JRE Fight Companion, if I can remember correctly, there were some occasions where like, Joe would get sponsored by McDonald's, but he would like lie and, and not say nothing. And like, oh, let's order some McDonald's. And they bring in random McDonald's stuff, right? Um, But usually it would be like, uh, Brendan... Oh no, it'd be Brian bringing some cheese and some wine and shit, right? Stuff like that. Like a, like a charcuterie. Is that called charcuterie, right? That kind of stuff. That stuff will probably work out well. Like those little kind of nibbles. You just have there. But I guess with Harry Mandel, he's not going to eat it because he's a germaphobe. Cool. But I don't know. Maybe get them to order stuff. Maybe order some charcuterie board or something. But this type of food is like, it's like halfway between getting it done and not getting it done. There's clearly not enough food there for like four hours of streaming or something. Or maybe you feel a little bit shy for taking certain amounts, but... That's not a lot of food. Like, Brendan clears at least three or two of these Tupperwares or containers doing fucking food truck by himself. Brendan, by himself, clears these, right? He clears them by himself. Then everybody else included. Like, it's kind of wild. <laughs> That's a spread. <laughs> That's a horrible spread. Spread for the Fight Companion. Got some cookies, chips, the tiniest deviled eggs you've ever seen in your life. That's my hand. We got some salami. Is he is he touching those eggs of his hands? There's no cover on those eggs. They're just, they're just open to the world. Oh my god. This is definitely you can tell when there's like a, a studio or a production company or an office where there's just boys there. There's no girls. You can tell in it the, the the how they go about things like the cable management, how things all over the place, there's whiskey bottles all over, there's eggs open like next to your hand and shit. People can like piss like I don't know. I don't know, man. You can tell there's no women that work at this place, isn't it? There is zero women. Zero. Oh, my God. The covers are... Oh, my God. Some cheesers. And I guess these are breakfast burritos since this is a morning show. Bacon breakfast burritos and steak breakfast burritos. I can't really show it because... Yeah, don't show it, you cunt. Because they're all wrapped up. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Why are you opening my box? Why the fuck are you opening my box if I ordered one of these? Fucking hell. Get your fucking piss-stained hands off my box, man. Oh, you just, just came in from the outside, didn't wash his hands. That's what it looks like. And a ton of sauces. Oh, no. And for whatever reason, there's bagels. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I see the inside of that burger? Is that the steak? He's already munching on one. Some of the staff are already munching on it. The staff are already munching on the food. The staff are eating the food for the guest. Look at the bacon. Bacon? Oh, it's bacon. Uh, that looks good. Is it tasty? It's good. Put some sriracha on it. That's sriracha? Yeah. That's a different kind of bottle. Interesting. Not bad. out where those bags come from. Yeah. And, and it's great. And the Lakers them. bought the place yes. where they make the ice. Right. And it's not the same anymore. We it's used not. to be able to sit there and watch them pour the water ice into those little, into those little cubes. To be fair, to be fair, the filming of it is pretty good because they make the room look a lot bigger than what it is. I think that's a probably like a, is it a telephoto lens. Am I, am I mistaken? Is it a telephoto lens that makes rooms look bigger? But whatever lens they use is really good because they make the room look huge. It's super small, isn't it, actually? When you see it in actual, quote-unquote, real life. And it makes that ice. And now, now you just have to the Lakers are doing it. Yeah, the Lakers are doing it. It used to be, like, have problems where, you know, I would get nervous, really nervous before fights, but it would never be about the fight. It would just be the thought of me losing. The pressure, or, yeah. You know, just kind of random thoughts that go through your brain. But once I kind of learn how to conquer that, now I don't get nervous and I perform way better more efficient when I'm in the ring. I don't get tired as much. So once I copy that, I feel like it does help. How much do you weigh? Dude, 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 you never ask. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't do that. That's like 
expected, the level at which they train, and they're We're bouncing out the audio now. It's like four hours. There's Case. Breaking down some stuff. The guys just. Oh, snaps. That fucking studio is a fucking hazard, man. Absolute, like, hazard. So maybe the sink pissing is the least of anybody's concerns. But I love it that Harry Mandel thought Brendan was pissing in the sink in the toilet when he was actually pissing in the sink right behind him. <laughs> he thought it was a toilet one. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't know what sink they meant. He thought it's a toilet sink because he went to wash his hands. But nah, it's even worse, mate. It's a sink there, the one that you're maybe going to get a glass of water from. <laughs> Everyone's bouncing. Yeah, they all it's ran out, innit? They all ran out. There was no chilling, innit? They all ran out. Bless this kid, innit? Like, he's just happy to be there, so I'm not going to say anything bad about him. That was a lot of fun, though. All right. We're all done here. I just published to both of our freaking audio hosting sites because we were transferring over to another one. I'm going to have to, like, get all this equipment and bring it back to the TFK studio. But whatever. And then figure all this stuff out. We're all done. So so they have to always move their equipment from one studio to the other studio. They don't they can't like double it up. And again, maybe I'm talking from the outside in, but I would imagine they probably make enough money to du to duplicate their equipment. Come on. You must be able to so it makes it easy just to kind of like plug and play. You don't have to keep moving entire rigs from one place to the other place. That's absolutely insane. Um, you know. Surely they make enough to, to buy double. I just want one. Steak or bacon? All right, we did it. We did it. Fight Companion, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. My boy Case, head producer of this show. We did it. Here's Case. And then there's <laughs> Georgie. Without him, none of this is possible. Any personality, lads? No? God almighty, what a fun group to hang out with, isn't it? No wonder they all laugh at Brendan so much because he must be like he must be like Eddie Murphy around these guys, isn't it? Fuck me, mate. The most devoid of vibes I've ever seen. If ever there was a guy who looked like he just clocks in and does his job and goes home, it this man is the one. Show. That's the face of somebody who just clocks in, clocks in and clocks out. <laughs> there is no passion. You, know, you see videos of like guys that are like Barstool Sports or even the guys working at like fucking Joe Budden podcast or the guys working at Legion of Skanks. The guys working at rap, um, you know, there's a, there's a bit of like vibes. It's fun. You kind of want to be there. You kind of secretly want to wish you had a job that you wish that your friends. Da, 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 da. This inspires absolutely none of that. There's zero FOMO. Zero like, oh, I wish that was there. I wish I was there. I wish I was in the passenger seat of fucking Chin's Honda Civic or whatever. R you know, racing over there to go and do the show. I wish I could help out. Actually, I'm gonna email Chin now and see if I can be an intern. I doubt it. And again, maybe they do, but. This is the face of a person who just clocks in and clocks out. Like, that is like, hello, darkness, my old friend. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's been there for like, three hours before. He's going to be there for two hours after to go do the dressing down. It's like, whew. We did it. Here's case. And then there's <laughs> Georgie. Without him, none of this is possible. All right. And where's George? Tall George. There he is. Also, go. George, without tall George, none of this is possible. Great teamwork, guys. See you on the next one. Thank you for joining us. Bonus footage. Going to Korean barbecue right now with my buddy Trevor Yasuda. Of course you're going to Korean barbecue. Of course, brother. This motherfucker lives in a Korean barbecue, isn't it? Fucking hell. I've been to a few here, right? Because we've got a pretty decent Korean community in London as well. They're all right, isn't it? It's fine. But surely if you're, if you're Korean yourself, don't you get tired of eating Korean food all the time or even Korean barbecue, specifically Korean barbecue? Doesn't it get a little bit tiring to eat the same fucking food every day? Like, God almighty, but this, this guy sleeps in Korean barbecues legitimately. Like, oh my days. But maybe it's really, maybe it's super delicious over there. Another level, so I'm not really kind of an idea about it, but Korean barbecue is like, you might as well get that tattooed on him. That's what you should get as a neck tattoo. Wherever Korean barbecue goes, it should be on his neck. That's what you should You've seen him in some of my vlogs before, if you watch my vlogs. He's one of my closest friends. I met him in audio engineering school. And he's bringing his <laughs> buddy, my buddy as well, Chris Loxamon. <laughs> you got 
Brendan surrounded by some real fucking educated peeps, isn't it? BGL, formerly of the was it San Francisco Comedy College, uh, Chin from the wherever he's from, audio engineering school for radio, and then he graduated and radio was defunct. Oh, you fucking love it, man. Degrees coming out of their asshole, man. Brendan, double degrees, business and philanthropy. Anna, who is uh, Adam Carolla's producer. So I'll see you guys at Koreatown LA at quarters. Ah, so the, so, the, so the producers of our podcast all hang around each other. It's a small network of people. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Even now, but Trevor is still running late, so it's going to be another, like, 25 minutes before I can get... Also, also, I know... Even now, but Trevor is still... Also, just a, just a slight thing. I know this is a bit of a picky, but that whole thing about having to bring my laptop to work with me because I love work and shit. When you do stuff like this, it's a bit annoying because essentially you get... I don't say, you don't say you get to call your own hours, but you basically get to do what you want, essentially. He can, he can go there really early. He can stay really late. Brendan trusts him. He's got the keys, whatever. So you don't really need to take your laptops with you. It's, if, I, if, if I'm honest, this feels like a little bit of a I'm a busy guy signaling, which I hate when people do. It's like the kind of people that carry around their laptops underneath their arms, like on a weekend. It's like, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Like, just do your work, finish it, and then, you know, unwind, kind of, you know, unplug from work, enjoy yourself, and then attack it again in the morning. You don't need to be carrying around your laptop. Like, doing your work at a fucking Korean barbecue is legitimately insane, in my opinion. And it also just makes you look like a bit of a redact, but, you know. Even now, but Trevor is still running late, so it's going to be another, like, 25 minutes before I can get to it. There he is. There he is. Let's go. Good to see you, man. This jerk. She's all late and shit. Trev's keys. How dare you? Let's all cheers on ah, camera. Yeah. 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 From how long was it? It was like forever. Yeah. Um, yeah. At least a couple weeks. At least a couple of times. Cheers, everyone. We've got our table finally. Working on the shows. There's Mati. Working on your laptop next to an open grill, like, is fucking wild. Like, when you can just put it down and just do it after you finished. Like, what are you, like, legit, like, what is he uploading or doing anything? Replying to emails. Or maybe Brendan's asking him, have you got the Addies or something? I don't, I don't know. Oh, Brendan, you got the Don't get me wrong, it looks really, it looks really delicious though, to be fair. So the food's not done yet. I didn't really get a try much yet because I was working, but uh, we'll try some soon. And I'll sh this guy's whole entire personality is basically working, isn't it, really, in a way. Maybe that's why he's happy to get paid whatever he gets paid, isn't it? Because he doesn't really have much life outside of it, which is fine, but I don't know. Put your laptop down, enjoy your meal with your friends, have a beer, unwind, and then get back on it when you when you finish. Because he looks like the type of person that works all around the clock anyway, because he likes what he does, he loves what he does. Fair enough, but you don't really need to be eating on the table. Like that. Really, come on. This is a bit excessive, to be honest. It's like that picture, I remember there's a clip of him showing off because he was like uploading the show while he was at the fun fair. I think it was with his girlfriend. Yeah, maybe that's his and that's why maybe that's why she, she was his ex. I think it was a clip that went viral a little bit on the Final Kiss subreddit or Chin uploading something. Like, why is, it, why is it the fanfare or something? Like, it's like, God almighty, man. Buy some candy floss and go and, and go and fucking, you know, win your girlfriend a fucking teddy bear. Put down the fucking laptop, man. You're a fucking fanfare, do you know what I mean? And then, you know, they end up breaking up, which makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. I also find it hilarious. I also find it hilarious why, for every reason in America still, you guys have this thing where the servers have to wear a face mask, but you guys that eat don't. That is one of the most redacted things ever. It's like <clears throat> the paws and the servants, the one flipping, giving you the food, have to be fucking mute and have these little mouth shields on their face, right? But the, everyone else is eating and drinking as per normal. It's so bizarre to me. Like, what's the, what's the point of this? Like, what is the need, really? In a warm, super hot restaurant, why are they wearing face masks? 
it didn't, it didn't COVID over. Like, what the fuck is this? But that was it. That was uh, Joseph. Oh, yeah, so I was like, hey, you know, I hit him now. Okay. Because I hit her up. It looks delicious though, it looks really really nice. It looks Where's really really nice. Oh, Alright boys. Bye. Bye Chin. We are full, we ate a lot of good food. I'll see you guys next time, we'll meet again. Also the place is actually called Korean Barbecue. <laughs> Lols, I thought it called something else. It's actually called Korean Barbecue. OJ, bro key breath. <laughs> Matt Ritz, we don't want the paws brief on us. Alright, <laughs> play then. <laughs> Love you, Chad. Love you guys too. Love you, Chris. Love you, Trev. And this is Chad and Good night. The life of Brendan Shorbs. What's the thing called? Studio producer, production person who, like I said, should be paid more. Someone in the chat said, oh, let's be real. He probably gets paid more of anybody. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. My, I used to, I used to think that before, but I think the way Brendan acted super sussy and really um, dodgy and shifty with chin surgery for his neck thing that he broke or that he, I don't know, he displaced when they were, they were fucking around and Brendan fucking, you know, um, pulled his fucking neck and fucks up his disc and some shit. The fact that he didn't get them sorted out and pay his bills or, you know, just kind of get, you know, how he likes to brag and boast about paying everyone else's medical bills. Like, he didn't go that far to, with Chin. And Chin was acting all weird with it as well when it was brought up and trying to claim responsibility. Like, no, it was my fault, it was my fault. It wasn't Brendan, it wasn't Brendan. Um, and coming with that neck brace thing, I get the feeling like Brendan doesn't, you know, Brendan doesn't believe in that sort of shit. Like, you know, it's, it's your shit. It's come out of your own pocket. So I think in that regard, no, that's not the case. But I just find it fucking hilarious that Brendan pulls up to the studio in Ferraris and Porsches and this guy's got a fucked up neck yeah, he ain't got fixed yet. He pulls up in the Tierra Prius and shit and I don't know, it has to work all around the clock to get work done because he, he can't hire help or something. You know, just me, I find that a bit sussy personally, but hey.